was a time when I was alone, nowhere to go and no place to call home. My only friend was the man in the moon, and even sometimes he would go away too. Then one night as I closed my eyes, I saw a shadow flying high. He came to me with the sweetest smile, told me he wanted to talk for a while. He said, Peter Pan, that's a Hi guys, it's me, Angela 123 for forever Today I'm actually sitting in front of the camera instead of behind it, but obviously you can't see my face. And um, I'm here with Annie Elizabeth today to answer the Q&A questions. I hope you like that little intro that I made. I've just been feeling really happy lately and the Lost Boy music just added to my situation, what I'm going through at the moment, and I'm just felt like doing a different intro for today. So I am going to start the Q&A. I have my computer right next to me with all the questions that you guys have asked me. So let's get straight into it. So I just I got my very first doll, Annie Elizabeth Jenkins. So let's go, let's start with the one that's been bugging me the most. Where are you from? <laughs> Is the one that's been annoying me. Everybody says in the comments, oh, I love your accent and everything like that. Right, I do live in England, but, you know, I do live in England. But um, I'm part Irish as well. I have Irish, um, my dad is Irish, part Irish. So um, that's why when I pronounce my R's or say anything, it comes out as like an Irish kind of tone to it. Like when I say accent or Ireland, see how I say it? It sounds really weird, doesn't it? It's because I have Irish blood, I'm Irish, um, part Irish. But I'm mostly British, that's why it's a bit of mix. So everybody says how beautiful my accent is and everything. It's because I'm actually part Irish and I am part British so that's that question next one is do you remember the first AG tube video you ever watched surprisingly I actually do I actually do remember it um that question was by Amanda Tooley I think that's how I pronounce that name and the first one I ever watched was um AGOC's fan video um opening um, Isabel's whole world collection and I remember watching it, part one at least, and um, I do remember actually watching it, now I didn't realise it was by the same person, I didn't realise that it was AGOC's fan, part one, part two, part three, and I fell in love with the channel after watching that video, I, I, I fell in love, and yeah, it was the first AG Tube video that I ever actually watched, yeah, and it was a weird video to actually watch for the first one, but yeah. Next one is from the Sassy UK AG doll. What is your dream custom? As you guys know, I only have, I well, not only, I have three customs. If you didn't know, Annie Elizabeth is custom. She has a wig and her eyes. And Matt and Alex, I would call them customs, to be honest. Um, so... I've always wanted to do a custom, I want to do a custom in the future as well. And um, my dream custom, I would love to have a doll with like Kanani's hair, so, like long Kanani hair, um, with a nice jet black and um, beautiful blue eyes and the kind of like the Elizabeth face mold, so just like that nice face mold. And um, yeah, I think that would be my dream custom. She would be absolutely gorgeous. So I'd love to have that kind of doll. She would be. Wonderful to add to my collection. And uh, next one, AG confession. Wow, a confession. So I think I'll do two confessions because it didn't say how many, so I think I'll do two. My first confession is, before I saw American Girl, I hated dolls. I did not like dolls at all. I honestly didn't like them. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just didn't like them. Okay, guys, please don't judge me. I just, I didn't like them and I have no idea why. But that was the first one. The second one is that, let me think of a confession. I knew I was getting Nikki for Christmas. Okay. I did put it in the comments, but just in case you guys didn't know, I actually knew I was getting her for Christmas. B 
because I was on eBay looking for a doll for Christmas and I saw Nikki. So I knew I was getting her and I didn't tell any of you guys and it absolutely killed me but yeah I knew I was getting Nikki for Christmas. I, I can't believe that I didn't tell you guys. I was like, I was told by my dad, don't tell anybody you got that doll and I was just like, okay, okay. Then on Christmas I was just like, finally I get to tell all my friends and people. So yes. Um, so those are my two AG confessions. Next one, your biggest photography tip. As you guys know, um, sometimes I would like to call myself the most famous for my photography because I take some pictures and I I could say that I'm most famous for those. And um, my biggest photography tip, always use a tripod. Okay, never do it freehand. To be honest, I use a tripod. It doesn't matter if I'm taking a picture from a height or if, if it's on the floor, I always use a tripod because that means that you can hold the right where your tripod bar is you hold that from bottom and take it from height or something like that that's what i would recommend doing i mean to me it helps a lot with my pictures and that's what i do i don't know if you guys do i don't know if everybody does but it's just something that i find a lot easier to do my videos uh next one if you could work with ag to bring out a collection what would it be like hmm what would it be like so i don't know if this person meant a doll as well but i'm just going to do the collection because they didn't exactly say if you were going to do a doll i would probably hmm. i would probably do a futuristic girl here yeah. so a future one one that's set in the future and stuff and the collection would be like hoverboards and, and futuristic kind of food ideas and all that kind of futuristic things. I think that would be really awesome. But I know that it's like, I know they wouldn't actually do that, but I thought that, I think that would actually be a really cool idea if it would be a futuristic uh, doll person. Uh, next one. Uh... What was my reaction when I first got my AG doll? Hmm. How do I put it into words? I would have uploaded the video. I honestly would have, but my face was in it and so were my parents. And I didn't want to ruin it. So I've got Annie here. And wow. She was wrapped in so much wrapping paper. It was unbelievable. And um, I saw her head. She was wrapped up and I saw her head and I felt her hair. And I was like, oh my God gosh it felt so weird i didn't know what it was and i opened it I just, it was an american girl doll i was just like oh, no way and my dad was like it's one of those dolls that you want it i was like i know and i was so happy i was jumping up and down and screaming i was so so happy you won't believe how happy i was but she came with this horrible red wig i don't if you have been with me from my google plus and youtube since the beginning since i started you guys would know that um, she had this horrible red wig. And when I was just about to have my Christmas dinner, her wig came off in my hands. Horrible. I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. It was, it was, it was tragic. <laughs> it was horrible. But then we bought this wig for Easter. The other wig had to be glued on temporarily. And then we got one from China. And then I got her a new wig for Easter. And yeah. Cookies or brownies? <laughs> That's a weird question, but cookies or brownies? I like brownies. I don't know why, but okay. That Those questions were from the Izzy Bella. Next one's from the Daydream Dolls. What do you do if you see hate comments? I'm actually thinking about doing a reaction to hate comments video, so if you want to see that, please comment down below. Um, When I see hate comments, I don't get many, but when I do, it's just like... I... I sit there and I stare at them for a while and stare at them and stare at them and then I just type something mean back. Like one time, I think I told you guys, somebody thought I was a boy and they were saying hard time to tell if you were a girl or a boy or not and I just commented to them in the best way that I could. Thank you, I think you're a boy too. Good to know. Ta-ta. Then some of my other followers got involved and then there was this massive big 100 comment section on one of my posts and I was just like, you know what, delete the post, delete the comments. That's what I've done. So, uh-huh. That's my reaction. 
What was your reaction when you hit one subscriber? Don't know if they mean YouTube or Google Plus. Right. Google Plus. Wow. This is going to be so sad. My mum was my first subscriber. <laughs> and yeah, but let's just pretend that my mum wasn't my first subscriber. My first mum was Amazing Gages, who is my best friend now. Her name is Emily, and um, yeah, she's absolutely fantastic. And she was doing a petition against Truly Me, or Historical Will Be Forever or something. And um, she was commenting on my posts and stuff, and we just became really good friends. And she subscribed to me, and it just went from there. And on YouTube, I, w I was actually really happy, because my, my videos weren't getting many views, to be honest. And when I was got a subscriber, I was just like, yeah, subscriber! <laughs> it was a nice dance, but I was happy. So, those were from Daydream Dolls. Beautiful questions, thank you. Why? This is from Everything Gigi, I think. Or is it Jai G? I don't know. Why did you start a YouTube? Wow. Well, to be honest, I didn't start until March and I got my first one in December. And I had three, three or four dolls when I started. I had Annie, Laurie, Lainey and Grace. And, um, to be honest, like I said, my goal is to make sure that we can go out in public with our dolls, doesn't matter what age we are, and not be judged for it. That is my goal. And we're getting there. People that have nothing to do with dolls are subscribing to my channel, and it just makes me think that I'm getting closer to my goal every single day. And one time, I bought my doll out in public. I bought Annie Elizabeth. And I was judged. Laughing, pointing... And I was just upset. And I wanted to share my love for dolls and not be judged for it. And I found a YouTube and it was such an accepting environment. And I wanted to make everybody... I didn't want anybody to be like that ever again. I do bring my dolls out in public now because I take photos of public places. But not many people, like at my school, know that I actually um, have dolls. Only like my best, best friend. Um, and that is really why well, I started AG YouTube. I wanted to share my love for dolls and not be judged for it. And I found Google Plus and I was just like, you know what? Let's do this. So, what is your fave doll? I don't know if they mean out of my collection or any American girl. So, my favourite has to be Kanani. I don't know why. She looks like me, <laughs> to be honest. She actually does look like me. I love Kanani so much she is absolutely gorgeous i love her hair i love everything about her. her her eyes i love her eyes i love her collection i love everything and she's just one really pretty doll and then it would have to be my g58 you know with the black curly hair and um green eyes and freckles she's gorgeous um out of my collection it would really be hard um i love annie elizabeth because She's my own, I made her, literally, and she was my very first one. Without her, I wouldn't be doing this video today. So, to be honest, Annie Elizabeth would have to be my favourite in my whole collection. Um, have you ever been to an AG place? No, sadly not. I do live in UK, as all of you guys know. So, I can't, I can't, um, I, I have, I've never even been over to America, guys. So, it, I would love to. I think one day in the future I'd actually like to, but after things have calmed down, because in the world, you know, there's so many random things going on, and I just think, you know, one day in the future I'd like to, but I have never ever been to an AG store. Next one. Favourite candy? Ooh, candy. I love candy. I like... Do you know what Harry Bows are? You probably do, but I'm just saying, um, because we have these little packets of Harry Bows, and they're like little gummy sweets. I love those. So lovely. Thoughts on Leah? I love Leah. She is stunning. I really, really want her, but I can't find reasonable price one on eBay. In England, it's like £180. And, oh, my days are just so expensive, guys. And I'm just... I can't get one until I find one at a reasonable price. But she's lovely. I love her hair. I love her eyes. I absolutely love her collection. And it's amazing, to be honest. So, shall we move on? Let me just go onto my YouTube. Because the questions that I was asked... Some were on Google+, Plus and some were on YouTube. So, I'm just going to go to my YouTube page now. Uh... 
let's just turn the volume off a second because you'll hear my, one of my videos going off in the background I'll just be like sorry about that um, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. here we go okay so I really liked those questions on Google Plus, so thank you. Here are the questions from Sunflower AG Studios. Favourite food? That's hard. I actually like sushi, which is really weird. It's one of my favourite foods. It's stuff that I don't eat very often, but when I do, it's like it's amazing for me. Favourite colour? Red. No doubt about it, I love red. I love red so, so, so much. Favourite colour? Red. All time. It's just, I even have a red coat. Well, I had a red coat until I went to secondary school and then I got rid of it. Um, literally, everything. Red. I just love it so much. It's such a beautiful colour. And yeah, I love red. Favourite doll? I've just answered that question, so I'm really sorry I'm not going to answer it again. If all your dolls fell in the sea, you could only save one doll, which one would you save and why? I was hoping I wasn't going to get that question. And when I saw it, I was like, sugar. And I was not impressed. Um, Annie. It's going to be Annie every single time. She is. She has the most memories, to be honest. Without her, like I said, I wouldn't be here today. And she is such a beautiful doll. She's vintage as well. And she's absolutely stunning to be honest. I mean, everybody says on the internet how beautiful she is and I absolutely love her. So I'm sorry all my other dolls. I, I'm sticking with my, with my little doll, Annie Elizabeth. And those were from some flower AG studios. Next one. How many dolls do I have? I'll hopefully be doing all my dolls videos soon. I think I have 12. I think. I have 12. I have Annie, Lainey, Laurie, Grace, Kit, Emily, Violet, Melanie, Matt, Alex, Nikki, Lizzie. I think that's it. And how old am I? I don't mind answering that question. So for any of you guys said, I thought you weren't allowed to ask how old you are. Yes, just no face reveal or anything like that. I am 11 years old. I know I don't sound it, all my friends say that, I don't sound it, I know I don't, but I am actually 11 years old, 11 and a bit, it's nearly my birthday actually, so yes. Do I sub for a sub? Do I subscribe to people who comment in the comment section? Do you sub for a sub? I actually do, I do that. So I'm just going to do the last few questions which I've been asked over the many 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 months i've been on the internet so <clears throat> let's continue with this um okay let me just find it right um so the next question is would you ever leave google plus permanently no i wouldn't I don't think I will, at least. I don't see any reason to. I do put on Google Plus sometimes that I do leave for personal reasons or for reasons that I can't actually explain. So I do leave Google Plus for some times, not all the time. Um, what camera do I use? I'm just going to look now. I use a Canon IXS 145. Okay. What movie editor do I use? I use Move Maker. <laughs> it's like a free app that you can get on all Windows devices, I believe. Um, my most popular video. My most popular video was making the American Girl on TV set part two, one. <laughs> I just said, I didn't know which part it was. And I think those are all the questions. If you have any other questions that you that weren't answered in this bit, oh, hang on, I actually might have some more questions. Two seconds. I was asked so many on so many different videos. I wanted you guys to come on one specific video, but you liked commenting on random videos, so I'm so sorry. I'll be literally two seconds on my days. Oopsie. Let's come back. 
Gosh, How many dolls do I have? Already answered that. His favourite doll answered it. Do you watch favourite colour? Answered it. How many dolls do you have? Answered it. What are your dolls' hobbies? My dolls' hobbies. I'll answer three dolls. My very first three dolls. Annie. Annie is a bit of a gymnast and she likes writing and she loves to draw. Mm, yeah. Laurie, she loves all the latest trends, she loves reading magazines and she also, she likes doing gymnastics. Most of my dolls are gymnasts and I have no idea why. Lainey, she loves to dance, she loves to draw and just like the character, she loves to, um, she loves nature, she loves everything. And those are my questions done. So, what did you guys think? It was good, wasn't it? I hope it was but thank you guys so much for watching we're nearly 100 subscribers by the way so let's keep on getting those subscribers please that would mean the whole world to me if we could get there before my one year anniversary that would mean a lot um some people have already answered my contest so thank you so much for them people and yeah um, I probably won't be doing another Q&A for a while now. If you guys have any questions that weren't answered in today's Q&A, please comment down in the comment section. I will... I won't see you tomorrow, sadly, because I can't upload on some cute dolls tomorrow because I have something going on. So I can't upload tomorrow. It will hopefully be the weekend. I really hope that. And I am so sorry yesterday I said that I won't be uploading today, but I completely forgot my Q&A was today. Really sorry about that, guys. So, I will see you at the weekend. And I'm just... Yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And bye-bye from the AGLF or the ALF or whatever. Whatever you want to call us. <laughs> I I just call us the AGLF on the comment of the stage. Love, one, two, three, four, five. But, but yeah. Um... I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned this weekend for more. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> and you failed. Bye, guys. All bored. We're all so tired of everything.